let's do it. And we'll take the knife here, and let's start with some Prussian blue, Van Dyke brown. These two are at about equal parts, and a touch of alizarin crimson. So we have blue, brown, and crimson. Mix it up, pull it out very flat. Let me clean the knife so you can see this well. Okay, come right up here. Now, cut across this and get a little roll of paint right on the edge of the knife. This is where the straight edge on the knife really comes in handy and makes the knife much, much easier to load. All right, let's go up here. Now, probably one of the simplest mountains to make and also the most popular is the little snow-covered mountains. Now, take the knife, you have that little roll of paint on there, and push very hard, very hard. All you're trying to do here is push in a basic shape, just a very, very basic shape. The only thing that you're worried about at this point is this nice outside edge. You could care less what's happening in here. Anything can happen in there. We don't care. All right. We're just worried about the edge. Scrape off all the excess paint. You can probably hear how hard I'm scraping the canvas. You're not going to hurt the canvas. Really scrape it off. Okay. Now, one thing also to remember about mountains, if you can see the entire mountain, it's always more distinct at the top than it is at the bottom, because at the bottom we have mist, we now have pollution. These things break up and diffuse light and cause it to look soft and misty on the bottom. Okay, so to create that effect, watch right here. Take the two-inch brush, push it, bend it, and pull it. See, that's wet. And you can slide the paint on there, and automatically it mixes with the liquid white, and you get that blended effect at the base without doing anything. Probably one of the biggest problems when putting on the base coat for a mountain is applying too much paint, very little paint. Okay, so it just, see how it just fades right into nothing? That's just what you're looking for. Okay.